we're going to be taking a look at this lab user ID controlled by request parameter with password disclosure. The objective of the lab is to retrieve the administrator password and use it to delete the user Carlos. As we can imagine, this is a type of vertical privilege escalation. We're looking to try and access an admin account to make use of admin functionality. To start with, we're given some credentials for a regular user. Let's make use of those after we fire up the lab. So first step here is to log in as a regular user. Let's type in the username and password. We're taken to the account section and we can see there is some account functionality there. So we can change our email address. We can also update our password and we can see that at the moment, the value of the password is concealed. Similar to previous broken access controls, the user account is simply controlled by the query string here, the request parameter the ID key and the value, we can change that to administrator. Notice we now get the administrator account page. Now, although we get the administrator account page, we haven't accessed the administrator account as such. We're seeing a page with information that we shouldn't be able to see, but we can't actually access administrator functions. We're not considered as being logged in as the administrator. In fact, we're still considered as being logged in as our regular user. So we're still making use of our session ID for the user Wiener. So we're seeing an admin page, but we're not logged in as the administrator. Now we can see that there is the option to update password. The interesting thing here, if we tried to update that password, we would actually end up updating the password for the user Wiener because we don't have an admin session. We're just seeing information that we shouldn't be able to see. But maybe it's no big deal, right? Because that password is obviously obfuscated. We just see a series of circles there, black dots. We can't see what the password is. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. This is really just styling. It's a type of styling where the text appears as black dots as opposed to the text itself. It is actually plain text. And we can prove that by going to inspect and taking a look at the DOM. Notice we have an input field, type equals password. Now it's that type attribute with the value password that generates that black dot styling, concealing the password. But if we have a look, there's also a value attribute and that value attribute just reveals the password in plain text. In other words, what we're looking at right now is the password of the administrator. So if we log in using the administrator password, then we're going to be granted the administrator session ID. For all intents and purposes, we will be logged in as administrator and we'll also be able to make use of administrator functions. So let's copy our password, paste it into a notepad just so we don't lose that. We'll go to log out because we want to log out of Wiener. We're now going to log in as administrator. So we'll start with the username administrator. How did we know the admin account has the username administrator? The clue was really in the lab description, but aside from that, it's just a logical guess. Very often the admin account might have the username admin or administrator. It's not rocket science. And we're going to paste the password that's been copied to the clipboard. Let's choose login. So we're back again at what appears to be the page we were at before, but there's a couple of key differences. First, we now have the session ID or the session cookie of the administrator. So we have an active session as the administrator. And as a result of that, you can see we actually have an extra option. Previously, we just had home, my account and log out. Now we have admin panel. Let's follow that link. And we can see various admin options, really just one admin option, which is to delete users. And our objective is to delete the user Wiener. So we don't need to tamper with anything. We are legitimately logged in as an administrator right now. This was vertical privilege escalation. We can simply click delete on Wiener and we should get the message you solved the lab. Or at least we would if that was the correct user to delete. So I've just deleted us. Not a big deal. Let's delete Carlos as well. Now we get the message. Congratulations, you solved the lab. All right. So we don't actually have an account anymore, but that's fine because we're the administrator, I guess, of a site that has zero users. Okay, so this was vertical privilege escalation. And we can see the active user wasn't directly controlled by the query string in the URL, but by tampering with that, we were able to cause the app to leak information, i.e. the password of the administrator. 
who are then able to use that to log in as the administrator. And from that point onwards, we have vertical privilege escalation. All right, thanks very much for watching, guys. Catch you in the next lab.